Welcome to Bienvenue's How to Become Fluent in French podcast, where we share tips and tricks to help you in your journey to speak French fluently. Hi, everyone. My name is Danielle Hayduck, and I'm the founder of Bienvenue French Language School in Hudson, Ohio. We offer custom programs as well as fast-track career trainings that will get you ready for a new career in just 18 months. Today's episode of How to Become Fluent in French is called How to Talk About Nothing or Small Talk for the Elevator or the Grocery Store. If you leave your house, you run into situations where you need to make small talk. Actually, even if you use the phone, you will run into situations where you rely on small talk to create rapport with someone. So I thought that a class on small talk would be helpful. Of course, we stay away from religion and politics. So what do we actually talk about? Well, let's set the scene. You're online at the grocery store, waiting to check out, and the person in front of you says, On a de la chance, il fait beau aujourd'hui. We are lucky. The weather is really nice today. So here you can use your list of interjections that we studied in episode 21. Go back to episode 21 and listen to it. It's very helpful. You could say, for example, Vous avez raison. You're right. So much better than yesterday. Tellement meilleur qu'hier. Now, if you're talking about the weather, you're not going to use mieux. You're going to use meilleur que. Meilleur que. So somebody says, let's just reiterate for a second. On a de la chance, il fait beau aujourd'hui. And you can say, tellement meilleur qu'hier. So much better than yesterday. Oui. Quel sale temps il faisait hier. Oh yeah, well, lousy weather we had yesterday. Oui, quel sale temps il faisait hier. Or you could say, Quel sale temps il faisait la semaine dernière, last week. Or le mois dernier, last month. You know, you get the gist of it. So then comes the reference in your little small talk adventure, to something that was on the news. Vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eu au plateau des mille vaches? I like to use the reference to where my ex-in-laws lived. It's called the plateau of a thousand cows. But of course, you put in anything that works. Vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eu au plateau des mille vaches? Did you see the snow they got in whatever? You can say, dans le sud. Vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eu dans le sud? Or, vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eu dans le nord? Or, en Allemagne, aux États-Unis, wherever it is pertinent at the time. And then you can say, of course, ah oui, c'est terrible. Or, incroyable. Then you can actually add something meaningful, like, um, qu'est-ce que c'est dangereux? That is so dangerous. French, you know, they like a little bit of drama, so. Qu'est-ce que c'est dangereux? So, uh, outside of that, you know, here you've covered the weather, and um, you may have a few more minutes before checkout. So, it's pretty safe if you have to keep on going to sort of stick with natural disasters. That definitely works. Um, you can talk about the latest earthquake, le tremblement de terre, le tremblement de terre, earthquake. Or you can talk about the floods, les inondations, les inondations. How about the tornado, la tornade, la tornade. Of course, we have the hurricane, which is l'ouragan. L'ouragan. And then if there was a volcanic eruption, you can refer to that. L'éruption de. L'éruption de. And then you follow that with the name of the volcano. The volcano. 
And then, of course, you know, let's not forget the good old tsunami, if there is one once in a while. Le tsunami. Le tsunami. Now, yeah, another thing that you can always throw in there is um, reference to some kind of an accident. L'accident de voiture, which is a car accident. Or how about uh, if there was a train crash, you can refer to that. L'accident de train. Or if there was a plane crash, l'accident d'avion. Or you could also say, l'avion qui s'est écrasé, the plane that crashed. L'avion qui s'est écrasé. Now, another safe topic is um, crimes. Yeah, the latest crime. Le vol du tableau, the theft of the painting, whatever the painting is. Le vol du tableau. Or how about the jewelry theft? Le vol de bijoux. Le vol de bijoux. And of course, you know, these don't even have to be any actual timing. Uh, these could be old crimes that you're referring to that happened centuries ago. Or there can be other things like uh, the murder of, le meurtre de, or, you know, the kidnapping of, le kidnapping de or the disappearance of, la disparition de. I've seen a lot of headlines, la disparition de. But let's not forget that the thing that the French like to do most is to complain. So you'll most likely find a sympathetic ear to your most dearly held pet peeve. Vous avez vu l'augmentation du? Have you seen the increase in... This one's pretty foolproof safe. Nobody likes a price increase. Vous avez vu l'augmentation du? Whatever, afterwards. We can also talk about, you know, the traffic jams on the big highways. Vous avez vu la circulation sur? Vous avez vu la circulation sur? And then you can add, vous avez entendu parler de? Have you heard about? X, Y, Z. Vous avez entendu parler d'eux? It certainly wouldn't hurt to have a list ready so that you too can lend a sympathetic ear and be a friendly, polite foreigner. But in the meantime, let's go over these expressions. I'm going to say them and you'll have time to repeat them so you get a chance to practice them. All right, let's start at the beginning. On a de la chance. Il fait beau aujourd'hui. We are lucky the weather is really nice today. On a de la chance. On a de la chance. Il fait beau aujourd'hui. Il fait beau aujourd'hui. On a de la chance. Il fait beau aujourd'hui. Vous avez raison. You're right. Vous avez raison. Tellement meilleur qu'hier. So much better than yesterday. Tellement meilleur qu'hier. Tellement meilleur qu'hier. Or you can say, oui, quel sale temps il faisait hier. What lousy weather we had yesterday. Oui, quel sale temps il faisait hier. Quel sale temps il faisait hier. So that's for yesterday. Last week is la semaine dernière. La semaine dernière. Or last month, le mois dernier. Le mois dernier. Vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eue dans le sud? Oh, 
Did you, sne- did you see the snow they got in the south? Vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eu dans le sud? Vous avez vu la neige qu'ils ont eu dans le sud? Ah oui! Ah oui! C'est terrible! C'est terrible! Incroyable. Incroyable. Incredible. Incroyable. Qu'est-ce que c'est dangereux? That is so dangerous. Qu'est-ce que c'est dangereux? Qu'est-ce que c'est dangereux? Okay, here's our list of natural disasters. Earthquake. Le tremblement de terre. Le tremblement de terre. Floods. Les inondations. Les inondations. Tornado, la tornade, la tornade, hurricane, l'ouragan, l'ouragan, the eruption, l'éruption de, l'éruption de, and then you add the name of the volcano, volcano. L'éruption de. And the last one is the tsunami. Le tsunami. Le tsunami. And then we have the accidents. L'accident de voiture. L'accident de voiture. L'accident de train. L'accident de train. L'accident d'avion. L'accident d'avion. L'avion qui s'est écrasé. The plane that crashed. L'avion qui s'est écrasé. And then you have the list of crimes. Le vol du tableau. The theft of the painting. Le vol du tableau. Le vol du tableau. Le vol de bijoux. The jewelry theft. Le vol de bijoux. The murder of. Le meurtre de. Le meurtre de. The kidnapping of. Le kidnapping de. Le kidnapping de. And the disappearance of. La disparition de. La disparition de. Next, you have the little complaints. Have you seen the increase in in whatever? Vous avez vu l'augmentation du? Vous avez vu l'augmentation du? Vous avez vu l'augmentation du? And then there's the traffic jams on the highways. Vous avez vu la circulation sur Vous avez vu la circulation sur
Vous avez entendu parler d'eux? Have you heard about? Vous avez entendu parler d'eux? Vous avez entendu parler d'eux? So that should start off your list pretty nicely um, of things to have like in the in your back pocket to come up with at short notice when you have to fill a moment with a cashier or with a somebody in a store or somebody in an elevator so that you're not standing there feeling like a dummy not knowing what to say. So remember, the key to becoming fluent is speaking. It doesn't matter how many podcasts, shows, or how much radio you listen to. You just can't become fluent if the words don't come out of your mouth. If you've been stuck in that in-between place where you can't seem to put it all together, give me a call, 330-313-4403, so I can help you achieve fluency. It's a lot easier than everybody makes it out to be. And remember, go to episode 21 and listen to those little interjections. A bientôt!